Beard adds unique and special quotient to one's style, confidence, personality and individuality. It must be a great feeling of cheering up oneself by sporting a trendy beard style. So anyone who wishes to boost one's style and self pride with groomed beard can do so. Now men facing problems like patchy hair growth near jawline, poor beard growth, no beard growth, genetic hereditary factors affecting beard growth can look forward for resolution through beard transplantation. Welcome to our post- podcast channel Epidermal Podcast. This is Dr. K.C. Dharam Kumar, the best dermatologist in Bangalore, your host with you. In today's episode podcast uh, session, I'm going to talk about beard transplantation types, procedures and benefits. So let's start now with beard transplantation. It's a transplantation of hair follicle taken from the base of one's own scalp area that is the behind the neck which is called as donor area and grafted in the marked area of the face that is the recipient area. Around 4000 to 7000 hair follicles are grafted depending upon the desired facial hair density. That sounds simple enough but it's a rather involved process. There are two types of main approaches a surgeon can take. First one is a follicular unit extraction where single hair follicle unit are extracted from the donor area and grafted in marked recipient area which gives fuller denser beard look. The second aspect is follicular unit transplantation where a strip of tissue is taken and transplanted in the marked recipient area. A thin scar is seen following the recovery which remains invisible under the growth of new hair in the recipient area. Now let us know what are the steps involved in beard hair transplantation. A trico scan is done to understand the type of hair which is to be removed. Marking of the transplantation area for desired beard line and style. Extraction of the graft from the donor area. Grafting of follicles. Transplantation of the strip of tissues depending upon the procedure opted in the marked recipient area. Local anesthesia is given for patient's convenience. Coming to the benefits of beard transplantation, it's a safe and successful procedure. Hair grown from the transplanted graft is normal and natural. The feel and appearance of the new hair grown is similar to normal hair. One can sport new beard style or change it as per the trend. The new beard care is natural and similar to natural beard care or as suggested by your trichologist. Enhance aesthetic looks and confidence booster. When you have just come home after a hair transplantation, you want to make sure you know how to take care of the most precious of goods, that is your newly implanted hair grafts. They are still fragile and need a bit of nurturing to fully take root. At the Epiderma Clinic, we give our hair transplant patients detailed directions for home care before they leave our clinic. Here are some of the do's and don'ts for post-procedure beard transplantation I like to emphasize. That is the donor area will be dressed for 2 to 3 days. Do not touch it, fiddle with grafted area with fingers or any other thing. The grafted area will have bruises for first few days which is common. Use sterile wipes for cleansing the other parts of the face. Do not wash your hair, scalp for one week or as advised by your dermatosurgeon. Follow the advised medications. Once the bruises have healed, the hair will fall in the next 2 to 3 weeks. New hair will grow from the grafted hair follicles and give a desired look. Hope this podcast episode helps you to understand about beard transplantation. So that's all for a day. We will keep short. For any queries, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor because you have every right to know about all the options before you start your treatment. For free resources and materials, head over to www.epiderma.in. We look forward to having you join us again next week for another exciting episode. Thank you so much for listening and it's me Dr. K.C. Dharam Kumar signing off. Thank you.